What is up guys, Burning Heavy here, and I have a discussion I want to have with you guys. As you know, Heart of Forge is coming out very soon. Now, by the time you watch this, it might already be out. And we're going to the Maguma Jungle, we're dealing with Mordromoth, dragon, 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 we gotta deal with the dragon. Now, people are saying that they're gonna get sick of always dealing with dragons, which I believe is a relevant complaint. But, it is the primary source of the story, and if you completely go away from dragons, then you're just ignoring something that's a real problem. So how can Anet fix that? Well, they can do so and give the community something they want. The community would like to leave the continent of Tyria. We'd like to go to Alona or Cantha. Now, a lot of people want to go to Cantha, and that's not surprising. It's very Japanese-oriented. Japanese culture is huge around here. So it doesn't surprise me in the least, you know, the Tengu are a big part of Kantha, and Kantha is a cool place. But I think lore-wise and story-wise, Alona makes a lot more sense. For one simple reason. Krakatoric is pretty much in Alona. He was last seen in the northern Crystal Desert, but there's nothing to say he didn't keep going south. Why? Well, Alona happens to have a very magical person ruling them. Blava Joko who is insanely magical, because, you know, necromancer and shit, is terrorizing Alona. Okay? Now, you can probably see where I'm going with this. Elder dragons are attracted to magic. Alona has a massive source of magic in their ruler, Palawa Joko. Palawa Joko is an insanely powerful, rather evil necromancer. What would it be like if he got corrupted by Krakatoa? It would be very, very bad. Um, and that would justify having Kro um, Palawa Joko being the target of Season 3. Uh, we don't want him to become a dragon minion, so we're going to deal with him before that happens. And who knows, maybe we're too late. Give us a reason to go to Alona. That is good with the lore. And it would get us away from dragons. For a little bit without really getting us away from dragons because we're still dealing with a threat of an elder dragon in Krakatork. So I think that's why Alona is going to happen before uh, Kampa. It's going to make a lot of people sad if that's true, but it, it just fits the lore better. There is an elder dragon down there. I do think we'll go to Kantha. I think the way we're going to go to Kantha is through the deep sea dragon. Uh, right now Kantha is very xenophobic. And I feel like the emergence of the Deep Sea Dragon might say, hey, can you guys help us? And that might get us to Kantha. But Alona just makes more sense to me in the short term. I think it could be the next one. Uh, just because Krakatoric is such a popular dragon. I mean, look, at the, look at what he... This is just his breath. And look what it did. You know, and... Uh, I just think this makes a lot of sense. You know, it gives us an external goal that isn't dragons. Palawa Joko. And it gives us another jacket. And there's still a race that can be focused on. It can be focused on the char. Krakatoric is a very char-oriented dragon. And so I think I think this will work really, really well. Whether or not ArenaNet decides to go in this direction, that's a completely other story. But please, let me know what you think of this theory in the comments below or on Reddit. I'm going to be posting this to Reddit. Let me know what you think. And I will see all you guys in the next video. And as always, have a wonderful day.